Welcome to Excel Business Math Series video number 25. Hey, we're in the workbook, Business Math Chapter 3. If you go to my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link, you can download this workbook. Otherwise, if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Chapter 3 uh, website and download it there. Hey, we're going to start off in our PDFs, and we're going to talk about the percent formula. Here it is. We start out with a base or something, uh, the total or the begin amount, we multiply it by some rate and we get the part. For instance, 100 bucks of income, the tax rate is 0.1 or 10%. Those multiplied together gives you your tax of $10. Now, in the book, they use percent formula and then they use the word rate here. I am going to use the word rate throughout. Rate just means either the decimal or the percent. And um, the, we could have rate times base or base times rate because 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3. Now, in um, this math class, we've seen how to translate words into math symbols. A lot of times you'll see something as the percentage of something is something. The percent means the rate. The of, as we saw before, means multiply. Something like uh, 10 percent of income is your tax. So the something right after the of and percent is the base. The is, as we saw before, means equal and something over here means the part. Now here's the definition of the base, the rate, and the part. You could see it as the whole or the total or the starting point, like stock value now and then stock value later. That would be the end point. You could call it the begin point or begin. Any of the, these are all synonyms or even total sometimes. Or, or that to which something is being compared. So that's the base. The rate, a percent, or a uh, decimal also could be a decimal or a fraction right there. The book always calls it uh, percent. I'm going to uh, always, oh, I will use decimals or fractions or uh, percents, but I'm gonna, oh, pretty much always going to call it the rate. The part, that's the rate times the base. So for instance, our tax, right? We don't have to pay all of our paycheck as tax, only part of it. The part is the part of the base, as sales tax is a part of total sales, or as number of units sold is a part of the total number of units, or as the year's total sales is a part of last year's total sales. Uh, that's when we do. Uh, percentage change and increase or decrease problems. Now, this part right here is sometimes when we do increase, decrease, and percentage change problems, it'll be referred to as the end of the end amount. For example, we could have a stock uh, one year, right? That would be called the base or the begin amount, right? And if one year later we have a new price for that stock, that could be the part, as we see later, and it will be called end. So in this page right here, you just have all the possible words you can see that mean base rate and part. Also, I listed here just to uh, emphasize, it can, you can have it in any order because 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3. Now, really, there's going to be three formulas because, oh, hey, look, we have three things. Part, rate, base. Well, sometimes we're going to need to solve for part. Sometimes we're going to need to solve for base. And sometimes we're going to need to solve for rate. Here are the formulas. If you want to read this right here, this is why they can all be uh, used and derived from this first one. I'm going to go to the end, to the very last um, PDF slide. Control end is the keyboard shortcut. There's a great little picture here, if I can blow this up. There it is. P at the top, and then a B, and then an R. Those of you that don't like algebra, I have these formulas memorized as algebra, so I can solve for any particular part. But this is a great trick that will allow you not to memorize it as algebra. You have the P, the B, and the R. Notice there's an equal, because part equals base times rate. But let's say you want to solve not for the part, but for the base. Well, then you just put the equal sign there, and then, hey, is P on top of R? That means P divided by R. Now, let's just say the equal sign is next to the R, OK? Oh, hey, is the P on top of the B? Yeah, that means P divided by B. So when we want to solve for the rate, we take the part and divide it by the base. 
when we want to solve for the base, we take the associated part and the associated rate and divide them. So that's a kind of cool memorization trick. Now I'm going to go back up to uh, 8 here. Uh, so there it is. Let's go over and try a problem in Excel. Hey, here it is. If 10% of your gross pay for the week, 750 bucks, is the tax, 10% that is, what is the tax paid? Now, in all of this chapter, we're going to have a lot of word problems. And this chapter is the one where people have the most trouble of all of the chapters in this business math class. We're going to do nothing but word problems, basically. If you follow the steps we did before, it's much easier. So let's follow the steps. What is step one for word problems? Step one, oh yeah, list variables or details. If only I could type variables or details, right? And state goal. If only I could type. Right? So there it is. Now, I'm going to do some formatting here, too. Some of the subsequent uh, videos, I'll have it pre-formatted. But here, I'm just going to kind of show you that you can format it nicely. I'm going to highlight all three, four cells there and Control-1, because that's our format cells. I'm going to go to Alignment and Center Across Selection, not Merge and Center, as some of you might want to use, because this works uh, much better than Merge and Center. I'm going to wrap the text. I'm going to go to Border. I'm going to select an outline. I'm going to go to Fill. In earlier versions, this was called Patterns. I'm going to click a uh, dark one right here. Oh, if it's dark there, I better go back to Font and click a light colored font. All right. So uh, what are some of our variables? 10% uh, of you. So look at this, the uh, tax rate or percent. And I'm going to put, I'm going to do format as I type. Ten, 10.00%. Now over here, I'm going to immediately say, oh, this is rate, right? So I got just the first part. So the if 10% of, oh, hey, there's of. What does that mean? Multiply your gross pay. So that your gross pay must be base. So I'm going to type base here. And this is, ew, gross pay. Actually, it's, ooh, great. It's the net pay that we don't like because it's much less than our gross. All right, so gross pay, and that's 750. So I'm going to type, I, hey, guess what you could format as you type here, too? 750. That dollar sign is not in the cell. If you click back up there and look, it's not there. And that's just formatting. OK, so gross pay is base, uh, is the tax. Oh, there's the is, right? Equal sign, the tax you paid. It should be like, what is the tax you paid? So goal is a fine tax paid. Um, <clears throat> and then here, we could even put uh, tax paid. And what is that? That is going to be our part. I'm going to say also under uh, goal, I'm going to, oh, well, here's, I'm going to control X. Control V, X is cut, V is paste. Highlight that, Control X, and then click right there. Notice I've copied that whole little bit, but if I click right there and Control V, it'll just move it. Uh, another, uh, here's the formula. Why am I taking all this time? Some of you can do this in your head. Why? Because most Americans uh, can't do word problems. So if you start with a nice, easy, simple word problem and spell it all out methodically, carefully, including what formula you're going to use and everything before you start, then when you get to a hard one, it's much easier. Hey, what's the formula? I'm going to abbreviate, right? Part equals rate times base. All right, step two. Now watch this. Here's a cool trick. Highlight this. I still have goal spelled incorrectly. My fingers are rebelling today. Let's see. Goal. Now watch this. I can highlight this whole thing here, Control-C. And then I'm right here, I'm going to Control-V. Then I can edit it. I can come up here into formula bar, or I can click right here. If you click right here, it's not there even though it's centered. See, there's nothing up there. It's actually stored in cell uh, A9 there. I'm going to come up here and put step uh, 2, colon, set up and solve. Set to pop. 
I'm having a bad uh, day. I'm not that bad at typing, but today I am. Hey, what are we going to solve? We are going to solve for uh, taxes paid. Tax paid equals um, gross times, and I'll say tax rate. Now, um, I could do two things here when it spills over. I could either come up here to a home and uh, actually click on the wrap cells. In earlier versions, you have to control one and go to alignment and wrap cells. Or I could uh, increase the column width. I'm going to in not increase the column width right there. Just uh, wrap it a little bit. Now, uh, let's do our formula. And um, we are going to use this in subsequent calculations. There will not be a rounding here, but our rule from earlier chapters to never run into problems is just when we're multiplying, we're going to use it in, with multiplying with decimals, and we're going to use it in subsequent calculations, we'll use the round. Now, in some of the tests and that I will give you, <laughs> I'll tell you when to round and not round. Sometimes I'll say, hey, don't round. 10% times this, and I'm going to comma and two decimals, because I'm going to go to the penny, because this is money. 75. Hey, I'm going to format that uh, with currency. The, you can control one and go to number. The keyboard shortcut, if you want to write this down, is control shift four. Control shift four. You can even write that there. Control plus shift plus four equals currency. Four map. All right, um, so there, that was pretty straightforward. This, this problem is pretty straightforward. They will become less straightforward because, and more complicated later. Um, but you know what? We need to check this. And there's always at least two ways to check this. Check one. And guess what? Here I did uh, part equals base times rate. So I can check either one of the other ones. Um, and in this case, I have a part. So to solve for part, and I would you could go over and look at your handouts or whatever if you want to. But part, I'm sorry, we, we yeah, we have the part. We want to uh, solve for either the base or the rate. So I'm going to do the rate first. Rate equals part divided by base. Now why do I do that? Because I have a part here. And so I could check. Watch. Equals the part divided by the base. And what I'm doing is I'm checking to see if my answer here is correct against one of these other original numbers that I typed in. I better get 10% when I hit Enter. Uh-oh, I didn't get 10%, so I must have got the wrong answer. Oh, no, no, that's just formatting. Control-1, and you go to uh, percent. Let's do check two. And this one, I'm going to check uh, solve for base. Base equals, and again, you don't have these memorized at this point. You just go look at your piece of paper. Eventually, when you do a lot of them, these you will. Uh, base is going to be the part divided by the associated rate. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, look, we have our part here again, right? We're going to do uh, one of our formulas and check it against the other uh, source number that we typed in, and we better get that 750. All right, I got my fingers crossed, I hit enter, and I got 750. So I've checked it two ways. Now, always we have to conclude. I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. And this is step three. Come up here, three, and it is right answer in words. All right, so here we uh, go in this cell right here. I mean, I usually uh, have these on your test. They'll be um, formatted uh, like this. Center across selection, wrap text. It's going to have a border, and it's going to have a green color. Most all of the cells where I'm having you do your calculations on, uh, if I have a predefined cell where I say you must do your calculation here, the cell will be green. So for example, if I said you must do your calculations there, it would be that beautiful green. Actually, that's like an accounting paper green. And so you put your calculation there. But here, let's write our answers. Remember, the key to writing your answers, just go up and uh, appropriate the words right from here, right? If, if our tax rate 
is 10%. If our tax rate is 10% and our gross is 750 bucks, then our tax paid is 75 bucks. $75. And so there it is. Um, there's our uh, first uh, part equals rate times base, uh, doing the proper word problem three steps. And when we come back, we'll do two other part problems, and then we'll move on to base and uh, rate and increase, decrease. All right, see you next video.